led Democrats in the Senate for a decade, but Harry Reid called one of his proudest accomplishments the impact he had on presidential history, encouraging Barack Obama to run. I did call him into my office and told him he should take a look at it. And he was stunned that, because I was the first one that ever suggested that to him. When he was reelected, that was one of the most moving phone calls I've ever received, because he said, um, you know, you're the reason I'm here. He spearheaded epic legislative battles like Obamacare with a scrappy style he learned during his impoverished childhood. Reed was born, shaped, and scarred in Searchlight, Nevada, essentially a truck stop outside Las Vegas. He grew up in a shack with no running water where this trailer now sits. He took us there in 2006. His mother did laundry for the local brothels, his dad always looking for work as a miner. Both drank heavily. During that 2006 visit to Searchlight, he casually pointed out where his father took his own life at 58 years old. This house right here, that last room is a bedroom, that's where he killed himself. He fought his way out of poverty as a boxer. As a politician, he was never afraid to punch below the belt. He even took on the mob as a young politician in Las Vegas. A wide variety of adjectives have been written about you. Some good, some you. bad. Some good, some bad. Let me just read a few. Scrappy, tough, blunt, canny behind the scenes mastermind, ruthless. Are all those fair? Well, that's what people think and that's what they think. They are entitled to their opinion. As Senate Democratic leader, Reid was a polarizing figure. Republicans argued a lot of congressional gridlock stemmed from his hardball tactics. Seen the turning of the tide. But he reveled in playing the political bad guy, calling then President George W. Bush a loser and a liar well before politicians used those L words. I don't really care. Uh, I don't want to be somebody I'm not. During the Trump presidency, however, Reid changed his tune about Bush. In hindsight, I wish every day for a George Bush again. Uh, I think that he and I had our differences, but no one ever questioned his patriotism. There's no question in my mind that George Bush would be Babe Ruth in this uh, league that he's in with Donald Trump. Donald Trump wouldn't make the team. In 2012, he used the Senate floor to accuse Mitt Romney of not paying his taxes, even though he had no evidence. He's refused to release his tax returns, as we know. Let him prove that he has paid taxes, because he hasn't. No, I don't regret that at all. Some people have even call, called it McCarthyite. Well, they call it whatever they want. Um, Romney didn't win, did he? Years later, Reid did ask to meet with Romney to make amends. Shook hands and put stuff behind us. Why was it so important for you to tie up that loose end? I try to do that with everybody. Reed also inspired fierce loyalty from many of his longtime aides as well as fellow senators. Not all out of fear, but affection. He often told colleagues he loved them, even in public. I love you, John Kerry. He had a storybook romance with wife Landra, his high school sweetheart. The two converted to Mormonism together when they married. She had a pair of Levi's yesterday. I said, man, that just looks so good. <laughs> That's amazing. But it's true. In January 2015, Reed, a workout addict who ran numerous marathons, had a brutal exercise accident that left him severely bruised and blind in one eye. It cemented his decision to retire. A few years later, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. The effects of chemo made it hard for him to walk. We went to see him in Las Vegas. That's one of my keepsakes from Donald Trump. Never any complaints. I'm doing fine. I'm busy. I work quite hard. Reed was an unlikely political leader in today's media age, soft-spoken and gaff-prone. But he played the inside game like no one could. I didn't make it in life because of my athletic prowess. I didn't make it because of my good looks. I didn't make it because I'm a genius. I made it because I worked hard. One of the things that I hope that people look back at me and say, if Harry Reid could make it, I can't.